All right. Let's see something cool as hell, my own little invention. I've uh, made a couple prototypes of this. I'll turn it around for you in a second. Um, it is completely collapsible and flat. Okay. It is made out of six pieces total. Five pentagons. Right now I have uh, SB910 in uh, remote mode and I'm using my pop-up flash and commander. Although you could use a wireless trigger. Excellent. Now, I wanted to show you uh, that is uh, no flash compensation one way or the other, plus or minus. I wanted you to see the uh, background. Obviously, that's not an excellent example. But I'm also using a 28 millimeter lens on this to uh, check uh, so far as what sort of uh, corner to corner do I have on even use of a wide angle lens and the answer is incredible. So what is it and can you make this yourself for three or four dollars? Yes and is it completely portable? Yes and definitely you've never seen anything like it before. Simplicity is divinity and so many things have been based upon nature and uh, geometric shapes it's not even funny. So let's take a look at what we have here. Okay. Six pieces total. Let me uh, bring uh, my illumination back here a little bit. I have uh, TTL mode on my camera. Here we go. Let's come back a little bit. This is completely collapsible. It's held together with uh, ten pieces of Velcro. Now I know you think this is it, but this isn't it. Let me explain it to you really simply. Now this is coated with uh, mylar. It's uh, actually, I have two rigid pieces here and I'll tell you why. Um, it, I used um, space blankets, uh, cut up pieces of space blankets. You can get space blankets, by the way, for I think like a dollar a piece now. You can buy like a five. You only need one space blanket to make this. Now, the back pieces are made out of uh, thick construction paper. Now, I have two rigid pieces, so two of the construction paper pieces. This piece and this piece are also backed with a piece of uh, plastic sheeting. So you can make this for uh, about $3 and uh, take you about 25 minutes to make it. You just lay some glue on your construction paper, you know, uh, press out... Uh, the, uh, the space blanket. Now aluminum foil is doable but it doesn't have a shiny enough surface for this and uh, the way it tears is not a great idea however that's certainly possible. I decided to make them out of a shinier material that's more lightweight but all I have to do is remove these velcro strips off the back and it completely folds up just like a piece of origami flat into your camera bag but that isn't it. The one that I had, uh, I've got a friend borrowing right now locally, I have a, a string attached through the rigid center section and what I've done, you can get the concept here, I'm actually hanging it vertically over a macro item and I'm actually firing up with the diffuser with the uh, my uh, speed light and I'm actually creating a diffuse uh, tent of light overneath my macro shots. So right here I'm hanging it. Um, you can hang it with a light stand. Um, my other one, I haven't drilled the hole yet on this one. I should have done that before making this video but I was eager to show you this in case you wanted to build one over the weekend. Is that I have a hole drilled right here since this is a rigid piece with the thick plastic backing which you can cut all of this out with scissors too by the way. And I, once I actually glued the mylar this, I just used an X-Acto knife to cut around uh, each uh, pentagon. And a thick plastic backing here, but the rest of these uh, four remaining pieces are uh, actually just cardboard. You only need two pieces that are rigid. Um, about 30 minutes to make it. Um, the diagonal on this, or actually the radius, is about 8 inches. The radius on each one of these... Uh, uh, pentagons is uh, I think about eight inches. Um, that would be about the minimum I would say to make it. So go to the, your hobby store and uh, get some uh, uh, thick cardboard sheets. And uh, I think about two dollars and a space blanket's another dollar and uh, like another dollar or two dollars for one 
I don't know, 20 inch by 20 inch of plastic sheet and then glue that to the back of one section and then another section. So these four sections here are simply a thick construction paper. And you'll need some industrial Velcro. You can see here I have connectors here. Once I remove these uh, Velcro uh, connectors off the back, then the whole thing folds up totally flat so it will fit in your camera bag. Um, what are the effects of this? Why is this so great? Well, you've got something that will fit into your camera bag. It takes less than 30 seconds to set up. Right now I have my SB910 in remote. So it's firing off of commander mode off my pop-up flash. Or I could just use a remote trigger. Or you could use a, a pair of, uh, obviously, uh, um, radio triggers. Uh, that I've got the four or five of. Yeah, let me set that flat. I should have used a better miniature uh, tripod for that. Um, the pocket wizards, if you know, the name escaped me. I've got five pocket wizards and the name completely blew my mind there for a second. But anyway, this obviously it works. The diffusion, like I said, I'm using a 28 millimeter lens here. The diffusion on this is absolutely perfect. I mean, it's better, I mean, I've got maybe 15 studio umbrellas. And those, I mean, while they fold up, they're still long umbrellas. And look what sort of coverage I've got uh, using a 28 millimeter lens. You know, that is obviously, if you can snag every corner, get nice diffuse even lighting at 28 millimeters with no hot spots, I've got great corner to corner here with this setup. Uh, then you can definitely do it with 50 or portrait lens of any variety. Um, now I have the diffuser head. I don't actually have to bring the bounce card in, but I actually get greater illumination when I also bring up the bounce card. Because then it's bouncing down into the bottom panel and all around and then back out. So if I bring, just use only the uh, diffuser head on my uh, speed light, it's good enough. But I definitely want to use the diffuser head so it's actually spreading out and then coming out to your main subject. But I also use the bounce card so it's actually bouncing light. See, it'll be set up like this. It's bouncing light into your bottom section, then all around and then back out. So you get maximum uh, maximum uh, light to uh, the six-section uh, pentagonal reflector. This is uh, my own little uh, genius invention here. So what are the advantages? Like I said, completely portable, completely collapsible, as good as a studio umbrella. And since you're packing a speed light with you anyway, presumably in your bag, I can mount this with a hole on it. Okay, the other one has a hole on it. I haven't yet drilled a hole on this one just because I just got done making it. I've made two of these. It will mount on top of a light stand so you can actually bring it up and use it like a, with a studio umbrella, as a, like a studio umbrella. Or you can actually suspend, suspend it overhead and shoot light up into it and create a light dome tent where you get a nice even and it real, is really nice. Trust me on that, for a macro photography, for tabletop uh, product photography. So you have actually nothing hanging down, so to get that perfect even uh, illuminate, I actually think as good as it is as a, a studio umbrella replacement, it is even better, and you better take my word for this on this one, it is even better uh, as a macro uh, tent. And uh, I've not seen anybody make a macro tent like this, it's so easy to set up and so simple and gives you such nice uh, even illumination. I mean, you've literally got like a ring light, you've got a diffuse perfect illumination for macro photography and all you do is you don't have to drill a hole in the center of it, but you could, but I actually uh, used industrial super glue on the back and suspended it overhead and then just shot my speed light up into it and reflected around and came down onto the macro object that I'm shooting. So. I wanted something that would be a collapsible uh, studio umbrella, yet foldable, yet more compact. Um, and, and there's nothing to break on this thing. Studio umbrellas are, everybody knows how fragile umbrellas are. They're always breaking. The little arms on the little skeleton arms are always breaking. So this is far superior to that. And it's a portable macro tent. And uh, you can angle this up. You put it on a light stand. You can tilt it back and forth. That's why you have two rigid sections. You've got a rigid section here and a rigid section here. So you can actually tilt this thing and it's not going to collapse on itself. All you need is two rigid sections. You don't need all of these. Now this is actually, like I said, just flimsy cardboard. Any of these wrinkles in here, I mean, those little imperfections don't matter. That actually just helps in the diffusion of the light. So here it is. This is uh, my little invention. And... Uh, I guarantee you it works absolutely perfectly. I mean, it does. It works perfectly and it's totally collapsible. And it's kick ass. 
you can't deny that this isn't awesome because it is. And you can make it yourself. You know, screw giving other people a bunch of money. Make this yourself. And uh, it works. Like I said, if I can get even elimination, okay, with, as I just showed you, a 28 millimeter lens, nice even illumination, okay, well, you're not going to use a 28 millimeter lens for portrait photography. Or you're going to use something longer than that, 50, 60, whatever. You can get it on 28, you're definitely going to get it. Uh, and I got no hot spots here either. None. No hot spots. It's nice. It's sweet. It's great. It works. It works. Simple. Five bucks or so to make. Let me know if you get any questions. If you like this video and drop me a buck or two, go tell me jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you the most happy. But this works and it's awesome. You can't deny it. <laughs> Another video from the Anger Photographer, and if you try to get a patent on this, I'll sue you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not. <laughs> I came up with it first. Bye!